Hi everyone, this is James, Young People's Officer from the Barbican Theatre here, and I'm here to talk about some fun drama games that you can do on Zoom or other video conferencing sessions. These are games we think you can play with friends and family on video conferencing sessions. So it'll be a great way to just spice up those daily talks you're having with relatives or friends. What you need to do, you need to firstly make sure that the video conferencing is on gallery view. If it's not on gallery view, we don't want to see it. Make sure it's on a gallery view like Zoom and so you can all be seeing each other at the same time. And secondly, most importantly, you need a piece of paper or an iPad, just something you can write on. From there, let's get going. First games we can play is quite a simple one. We all know it, it's grandma's footsteps. Grandma needs to stay close to the computer as possible. Now what grandma will do, will either close their eyes or move out of the frame so they are not seen by the rest of the players. The rest of the players stand up and move as far away from the computer as they can in that room. Now, it plays exactly the same. When grandma looks up and sees you, you have to stop moving. So if you see someone moving, that means they're out. They get moved back and they have to start again. Now the way to win this game is to get onto your computer and go to the chat function that is used in many video conferencing areas and make sure you put the word gotcha. As soon as you put the word gotcha, then you're sorted and you've won the game. The third game we recommend is the one word story. This is not a competitive game, so that's a great thing about the one word game. You only have to say one word and from that, each time you have to create a coherent story. So if we're playing into a big group, I could say, it's, the next person says, uh, and the third person will say, beautiful, and the next person will say, day, which it is, it's very sunny out on that side. If everyone goes round in the circle, and you create a lovely story together. Okay, final game. This is called Ball of Energy. Now this was originally meant to be Zip That Boing. However, when we at the Barbican were trying it out, the Zip That Boing didn't really work. So we've changed it slightly to call it Ball of Energy. Now, Ball of Energy, you're trying to pass a Ball of Energy around. So when you're in gallery view, looking at all your friends, you'll start off with a Ball of Energy and you're meant to pass that around and keep the energy up. So you would say, if I was a friend, I'd say, James to Daisy. Then Daisy would pass that on to Harry. Instead of saying Zip, you'd say their name. So James to Daisy and so forth. Now you can still boing. So if someone goes boing, then the person who's just tried to pass that energy has to repass it again. Remember, if someone is too slow, they stutter or anything like that, they're out, they finish. By the end of it, you should have two winners, which should be celebrated and you can play that again and again and again. These are just some of the games we think will work really, really, really well on Zoom. If you've got any suggestions, please send them our way. Put them in the comments below or send them to our email addresses because we'd love to know them. Again, please get in contact with us. We've got our email address below. Visit our website. We'll be putting lots more information and a lot more exercises up on the Beehive. So keep connected, keep in touch. And from everyone at Barbican Theatre Plans and me, James, it's a wonderful day and I hope you're all well and keep safe and stay indoors.